Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Electron and React. Our viewer, Joe, is trying to figure out how to import the IPC renderer module in a React application that's set up with Webpack 2. This is crucial for enabling communication between the main and renderer processes in Electron. Joe's setup includes React with ES6 and JSX, SAS for styling, and PouchDB for database management. Let's dive into Joe's question and explore how to seamlessly integrate IPC renderer into a React component. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. To import IPC Renderer in your React component, you first need to ensure that you're using Electron's context isolation feature correctly. This allows you to safely expose IPC Renderer to your renderer process. Next, create a preload script. This script will run before your React app and can safely expose IPC Renderer to your application. Now, in your React component, you can access IPC Renderer through the window.electron object. This allows you to send and receive messages between the main and renderer processes. Finally, ensure that your Webpack configuration is set up to handle the Electron environment correctly. This includes setting the target to Electron. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To import IPC Renderer in a React and Webpack setup, start by creating a preload.js file. In this file, require IPC Renderer from Electron. Then in your main.js, set up the browser window with node integration enabled and specify the preload.js file. Once the main window is set up, you can use window.ipc renderer in your React components. In your app.js, use the use effect hook to listen for messages from IPC renderer. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To import IPC Renderer in a React and Webpack setup, first require Electron in your index.html file. This allows you to access IPC Renderer globally. In your React index.js, check if IPC is available on the window object. Then set up an event listener for your desired IPC events. Make sure to start your React app from the electronmain.js file. Use browser window to load your React app from the specified URL. Lastly, set the port for your React app in an env file to avoid conflicts with Electron. This setup allows seamless communication between your Electron main process and React components. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer.
to import IPC Renderer in a React and Webpack 2 setup, you can use Webpack Target Electron Renderer. This allows you to develop your web part locally with hot reloading, while Electron is only needed in the Electron environment. You can find a working example of this setup at the provided GitHub link, which is updated for Webpack 2 and Hot Replacement. If you're interested in a more comprehensive setup with Webpack, Electron, React, SAS, and PouchDB, check out another GitHub repository that is still in progress. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To import IPC Renderer in a React and Webpack 2 setup, start by importing it from the Electron module. Then, create your React component and use IPC Renderer to send events. And that's it, guys. I hope we've gone through the question and found that solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>